Good day subscribers, new YouTube viewers and friends. It's me Ranch and today we're gonna do a video that I've been planning to do for a little while but I couldn't get my hands on a beta fake and now I do. So we're gonna look at the difference between a legitimate beta card and a counterfeit beta card. So as you can plainly tell immediately you know which one's fake and which one's real. Main reason is I could never afford beta. Um, this is a beta tunnel that was given to me by Milo the Gathering fantastic human being. I'll put a link to his uh, YouTube channel in the description down below. If you like Cube, he's the gold standard for Cube and a ruggedly handsome individual. So I'm gonna try to show the diff subtle differences in print patterns uh, regarding uh, counterfeit betas. If you've seen my revised uh, dual land uh, video describing the details about a counterfeit card, they're essentially the same with the betas. Where is for some reason, like you can immediately tell, this is glossy, high friggin gloss garbage. It doesn't sound the same. Where's this one? Fantastic. You know, as hard as they try, you'll never be able to counterfeit the old stuff unless you have the exact paper they used and the printing. So with the legitimate cards, I'll see if it works on this video. Apologies for the horrible transition, friends. It's the only way I was able to make it work. So if you can plainly tell by the image that I've loaded in the video, the beta tunnel is legitimate and the force field is counterfeit. The tunnel has a solid black border, whereas the force field has a pixelated border. It's exactly like the revised dual land fakes that I have seen and held. For some reason, the counterfeiters are unable to reproduce the proper print process for the borders. So, if you're going to be buying older cards, whether they be revised or alpha beta, and you're not certain, please have a jeweler's loop, so that way you can definitely look under magnification to determine whether it's fake or real. If you have any of the newer counterfeits that might be uh, slightly better and don't have that pixelation on the black border, I'd love to see it. Just message me with high quality scans. Thanks so much for watching, friends. I hope this was some help. Hopefully, bring you some more cool stuff real soon.